I have a new favorite piano. Uh, I just got this uh, Feuerisch Model 190 in from about 1990, 1991. Uh, it's a beautiful example of their Langlau West Germany production. It's a made in Germany piano through and through, but it's a production level. It wasn't, was never a hand built, um, very expensive sort of instrument at that time. And it's beautiful, beautiful rosewood case, and it's about 190 centimeters, which makes it about six feet six inches, which is a great size for a serious piano. And it has this beautiful, unique, long sustaining tone that I've come to associate with Voyrish pianos of that vintage. Uh, however, when you play it or, or give it a quick check, it feels very sluggish and very um, uh, heavy. So I want to figure out what's causing that and what's the easiest way to remedy it. So the first thing I do is make sure that my intuition is correct. Uh, I pull out my handy Balduk touch uh, gauge and I just pick a note at random. You'll see why these are lower in a minute. And I move it up until the key begins to move. Oops. I take, put my foot on the damper pedal, the dampers are up, and it's beginning to move at about 65, so 68 grams probably for a complete touch. That's very heavy when it should be somewhere in the mid uh, to low 50s. So, the first place I'm going to look is the hammers, and in particular the hammer shanks, and in particular the hammer shank flanges, which is this piece. Uh, and there's a general standard, it should swing five to seven times. In other words, as I release it, it should swing once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, or thereabouts. And this swings three, barely. And just to be safe, I've picked another one, and it swings uh, barely three. So there's clearly some sluggishness in these hammer centers, flange centers. It may be elsewhere, not in the keys, so the keys seem to be fine, but uh, the first place I'm gonna look is here. So in my quest of doing things uh, more simply rather than more in a more complicated manner, the first thing I'm gonna try is some CLP solution. This is a uh, solution particularly, specifically designed to lubricate center pins. And it really just takes a drop And maybe one on the bird's eye. And then work it in a little bit. One, two, three, four. Four. So now we're going to let this sit, and I'm going to do two samples just to make sure that this is either is or is not a solution, a solution to the problem. And we will come back to them. <laughs> 